Have you ever wondered what these are for and how to fit them? I have, so today that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Welcome to King of Titan Racing. We're going to fit a multi-layer custom windshield visor. Let's get to work. I'm taking a break from some of the other jobs I'm doing today because this is a nice easy one. I've actually got all the stuff I'm going to need out already and it's just something I've wanted to do for quite a while. So as you'd imagine the first thing I'm going to do is prep the glass and I have gone over it with a glass wipe so it's a nice and clean but now I'm going to go over it with an alcohol spray which is going to give me a really nice surface for that base layer to stick to. For the rest of this job you're going to want to cover the end of your tape measure in tape that way it can't scratch the glass or the paintwork. As you can see, masking tape is the primary tool of this installation, so it's by no means a complicated job, just a very fiddly one. So what I've done is I've used that centre line, by no means in a scientific way, and you can see I just kind of eyeballed it, because I just wanted to make sure that I had enough material to overhang at each end. I will be trimming it back to fit neatly when I'm finished, so the excess is fine, I just thought it would have run out on either side. What I've then done is I've used the tape to mark where this point meets the corner of the windscreen, and comes down to the bottom here as well. So what that lets me do is make sure that I have the exact same distance on either side, a nice flat edge, and that's the main bit you don't want to get wrong at this point. I've then happy with that point there as well, because that reaches the top point that I want it to. So I've made this mark along the bottom here, and as long as I line this piece up with all three of those, I'll get a nice even fitment of the base layer. The vinyl I'm actually using says to wet the windscreen before I actually apply it. So I'm now going to peel this back halfway do one side, fit it properly and then do the other side. As you can see it's a job that you can actually do on your own, it's just a bit fiddly, but once you've got it laid out like this, it makes it pretty doable. So let's get that base layer on. Well that's the first layer on and what I used to smooth that out was a squeegee wrapped in a microfiber cloth just to make sure that I didn't scratch the surface of the vinyl as I was going across it. There's a few small air bubbles in there which I will get to in a minute but what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go around the edges and trim them with a scalpel so that I get a really neat finish all around the surround at which point I'll be able to start on the next layer. My design is actually in three parts because I wanted the King and Titan racing parts to be in colour match to the car. So I'll put that to the side and we'll focus on the second layer now, which is the YouTube logo and the subscribe to element. 
Now, I only really get one chance of putting this down. I'm not likely to be able to peel it back up like I did with the black part. So I've used these three markers again to make sure it's landing in the right place. I'm happy with how straight it looks. So let's get this part on and hope it goes well. Thankfully that second layer was a lot more forgiving than I expected it to be and you may have even spotted me using a heat gun which is kind of a cheat code for vinyl. It's If you damage the edges or fray them like I did when I was lifting them to reset pieces, the heat just makes it reset back to fresh and you can never tell you messed it up. So have that as a hand if you're doing a job. I'm now going to move this blue line up a little bit because I don't want such a big gap between my next piece and then put on layer 3 and we'll be almost finished. Here we are outside and I think this looks fantastic with the sun on it. I love the way the King and Titan racing matches the car, I love the way the red bounces off the cage and I think this comes together as a really neat little package. If you're doing the job yourself I hope you found this video useful and maybe it makes you think about layering so that you get the windshield visor that you really want. I'm now going to get back on with the PPF that I'm halfway through so I can finally get this track car to the track and put some of those videos together. In the meantime, why not check out some of the other videos on the channel about how we actually put this car together so far to get it to what it is today. And a like and subscribe makes a massive difference to us as a channel and we really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.